because the story is unbelievable. It just really is. Um, here it is. Okay. A St. Louis cop was caught on video, basically, I don't even know how to just off, hitting, slamming this kid that was arrested in cuffs. I would, you would say cold cocking. He like he punched him in the with his face. forearm. With his yeah. So with like four- a full on blow to the face, like an right. MMA style attack on this kid who's cuffed and is coming walking towards them out of a cop car, one of those those uh, paddy wagons. Yes. Because they told him to come out, and he's coming out, and he he gets down out of the car, and this cop smashes him in the face with a forearm. I don't know if this kid was knocked out, but he goes face forward down onto like the step of the paddy wagon, and they just oh, it's just they just grab this kid, who's now lying out, and he's, they're just manhandling him. Come here. The video taken from the back of a transport vehicle shows the handcuffed teenager stepping out to face two officers, Rory Bruce on the left. Stand out here with us. Words exchanged, and then this. One far forearm, uh, as he forearm blow. And basically, this cop was caught on video doing this, and he got fired. Rory Bruce was the police officer, and he got fired. And not only did he get fired, but he got charged with assault. I mean, right there. Which we already, I mean, we know with the record with these things that if you immediately get fired and charged with assault, there is no, nothing, like, zero gray here. I mean, but also, this is, this is a cop getting fired well, and charged with Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, Usually when this happens, they do not get fired and charged yes. with assault. So, so this mean, was that bad that even he was fired and so charged So, I mean, with- you think we'd have a victory here. Yes. But the story turns to the absolute worst. Yes. Um, so basically, uh, the victim chose not to testify. I can imagine why. Can you imagine what this kid would have gone through with the police? Horrifying. The, the, his, this guy's police friends in this town, I'm sure. Yep. In, uh, where was this? In St. Louis, I'm sure. Um, there was no jury in the trial. And a judge was the sole decider. Judge Teresa Counts Burke. And uh, the cop stepped in front of the judge this week, and the judge found him not guilty. <laughs> she, did, she did not because she, she refused to watch the video that came from a surveillance camera from the back of a police transport vehicle. Apparently, no one could corroborate the story that was shown on the videotape, so she could not... She, she said she could not view this video. You know how it is, folks. I mean, police say one thing and a videotape says another. And we all know the memory of videotape can be really hazy at times. You can't always trust that videotape. Sometimes they, they, you know, they, they might not be in the, the, the state of mind when they were seeing these things. And you know, their, their account of such things might be a bit hazy. You know how these videotapes... You know, they tend to forget and embellish. You know, you know how these videotapes, videotapes aren't today. reliable accounts. That, this is like the equivalent of saying like, well, this murder trial is getting thrown out because eh, DNA, eh, I just don't really want to do that. So the judge refuses. DNA to- evidence, what's that? I, yeah. I mean, what's DNA really? Just a thing you find on the scene of crimes. I mean, that could be anything. Yeah, I mean. DNA is oh. kind of they, they don't really quite they don't really have Oh his 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 DNA was all over the weapon used to murder the victim. Yeah, look, I'm gonna wanna have someone who saw that. You know, I want the DNA to pick this guy out of a lineup. Yeah. And if the DNA can't do that, how are we supposed to really I just trust feel like the, the DNA? DNA is being wishy washy yeah. about it. But uh so anyway, uh KMOV, which is the local one of the local news stations there, uh asked the judge why she refu- why she uh, refused to watch the video and she won't tell them. Uh I mean, it was the strongest piece of evidence against the cop in this case. But, you yeah, know, you don't really need it. Was it was the strongest piece of that's what happened. <laughs> I mean, so, but anyway, anyway, if, if this isn't disheartening enough to begin with, that no one, that this, this guy won't be held accountable, really, uh, in terms of facing, uh, you know, any, any law punishment, uh, punishment from the law for basically abusing the 16-year-old. I mean, you could at least take that, you know, he lost his job, and he will never be getting... Oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Um, The head of the police union, Jeff Rorda, who just also happens to be a Missouri uh, Republican state representative, uh, is coming out 
And he's saying that the judge did the right thing because police videos like these should only be used to protect the police. Let's hear a little bit more about, about what the, uh, this guy had to say, Jeff Rorda. It's become a gotcha sort of headhunter tool that, uh, that we've seen internal affairs, frankly, uh, go overboard with. That's right. <laughs> Videotape that shows that police are engaging in, you know, police brutality. Uh, it's become a gotcha headhunter tool. And we've seen these internal affairs going over with. Remember, people, videotape evidence is only to protect the police, not the public. And, by the way, being that uh, this guy was not found guilty of uh, the assault, the, the, uh, what was it? The assault. The assault charges. Rorta says that with his name now clear, he's going to work on getting uh, Bruce's job back. You know, the notion that... Jeez, I mean... What I mean, even when even when these people are held accountable, in, to begin with, in the beginning, they still find a way to just get them back to where they were, as if nothing happened. And I'll say, man, there there are police. Like we know that there are police that are really good at their jobs, that care about this stuff. Like you should be up in arms about this sort of thing. And not only that, I mean, we all like. In a democracy, an open society, we have this group of people that we basically allow to be like a public paramilitary organization. They carry guns. They uh, can stop our cars. They can do all these things. And to not have the most basic metrics of overview of these people, and I, 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 it's just... It's, it's stunning. It's stunning and mind-blowing. I feel like re-watching Serpico.